Hosted by PragerU Kids, crafts, history, and your questions. I'm Jill, and today we're making a DIY teddy bear to learn about Theodore Roosevelt, a past U.S. president and frontiersman hunter. He was known to most folks as Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, we've got a question. Were teddy bears named after President Theodore Roosevelt? Hmm. The answer is yes. Roosevelt was a skilled hunter. And one day in 1902, his assistant tied a bear to a tree to make it easier for Theodore to kill. Well, Roosevelt thought that that was unsportsmanlike and refused to shoot the bear. Not long after, a store owner in Brooklyn, New York, started selling toy stuffed bears and named it Teddy's Bear. Well, they were a hit and soon became known as teddy bears. Here's what you'll need for today's craft. A hand towel, rubber bands, ribbon and buttons, googly eyes to stick on, and a hot glue gun. Be careful and ask a parent for help with this one. Before we get started, Theodore Roosevelt was one of the most popular and adventurous presidents in history. He served from 1901 to 1909, when America was becoming a world power. He was the first president to ride an airplane and a submarine and win the Nobel Prize. He was also a war hero. He courageously led his Rough Riders Regiment in Cuba during the Spanish-American War. Now, let's get started making our bear, and I'll tell you more about him later. Take your towel and lay it horizontal across the table. It helps if you use an old towel, since we're gonna be gluing things on it later. Roll one long side up halfway, and now the other side, so that the rolls meet in the middle. Now, this next part is tricky. You're gonna take the rolls and sort of twist it over just like this. You wanna see that again? Let's go. Twist these like this. So you have the rolls facing this way, just like this. These are gonna be our arms. So you're just kinda gonna move the arms out to the side. Next, you're gonna squish out this folded part so that we can turn it into our teddy bear's head, like this. Now, rubber band the neck. This is strenuous. Do you know what that word means? Well, it means hard, exhausting, and kind of tough. Teddy Roosevelt lived what he called the strenuous life. He was sick a lot as a child, but learned to be strong. He enjoyed boxing, rowing, wrestling, and weightlifting. And he loved nature and studying birds. He even traveled on an African safari. He was a smart man and wrote many books about history. Should we get back to our bear here and make his ears? Okay, most of making this teddy bear is squishing it. So you're gonna take a corner of the bear's head and just squish it into an ear and rubber band it. Same for the other side. Once you make both your ears, kind of just get your towel and squish it and pull it so that your teddy bear has a space for his face. You can pull his arms out to the side like this. <laughs> He's cute, right? Now, we could leave it like this, but I think we should make him look presidential. What do you think? Yay! Right. Get your googly eyes and your hot glue gun. Remember, ask your parent or an adult for help. Very carefully. One googly eye. Another googly eye. Careful, careful. <laughs> Almost there. Let's see. How about a button nose? Let's do it. And a button for a shirt. And don't forget your ribbon. Ta-da! He's adorable! How's that for a presidential tie? Yes, hello, Teddy. As a young man, Teddy Roosevelt left his home in New York and moved to the Dakota Territory during a very hard time in his life. The Dakota Territory was the area where North and South Dakota are now, before they became states. Roosevelt became a rancher and a sheriff, and he hunted grizzly bears and herded cattle. 
When he eventually became president, his White House was like a zoo with his family of six children and zebras, hyenas, parrots, lions, and roosters. No grizzly bears at the White House, though. Theodore Roosevelt was a strong man and a smart, one-of-a-kind president who made America's Navy stronger and conserved 230 million acres of land across America. You can see his face carved into Mount Rushmore today. And every time you see a teddy bear, well, you can think of him. We hope you had fun. If you've got ideas or questions for our next craftery, send them our way. Keep crafting, keep learning, and keep celebrating Land of the Free and Home of the Brave. <laughs> he can't be mean if he tried. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. You know we've got more episodes, right? Watch the whole series on our website. And parents, you can subscribe at PragerUKids.com.